What's up, everybody? Welcome back to R3 TV. Today is another episode of what? Project Headache CB7. So, motor's coming out. Making that announcement. Motor's coming out. ABS is coming out. This crap is coming out. Um, what else is coming out? What else is coming out? Uh, just everything that I don't need is coming out. All this ugly stuff is coming out. Just, just, just rip it out. That coming out i want the fully putting the, the fully built motor this is a stock motor I, I did this motor to get the car like this so everything is fabbed up everything is good i don't have to take it to nobody to do anything once this motor comes out built one goes in everything should bolt up um but once this come out once this motor comes out when the engine bay is uh clean well is empty gonna go ahead and take the abs out once you got to get to the rear um the real line, which I noticed there's no videos on YouTube about uh, removing ABS and the CV7. There's other ones, but hopefully I'm the first one and hopefully you guys can use it and like it. It's my first time doing it. I'm going off the CV7 tuner forms, um, just kind of the general knowledge uh, that I have, but don't really have. Um, so I'm going to walk through it that way. Also next is the rack and pinion. I ordered that. I gotta do. I'm gonna do the uh, the the manual conversion. Uh, there's a couple people that uh, have it on CB7, I believe, uh, CB7 tuner, and on YouTube that that have done it already. So I'm gonna be following their videos. But of course, I'll make a video for this channel uh, for those that follow this channel. And right now, today I'm going starting on the uh, on this problem here. So I have my over sitting in those boxes over there is my Brembo brakes, the CO um bro, uh, rotors and hubs um so i'm gonna see if i can get all this off today um get the hubs off get the uh the calipers everything off and um see if i can get uh these hubs in here so that's the project what i'm working on today um trying to get the suspension done um then i will tackle the motor uh i mean i don't have i can do either or it's just everything's going to be out the right opinion is coming out everything's coming out at at one time so it's going to be uh, empty you know so i have room to do um whatever i need to but this area right here is clean so i was like oh, might as well get started so that's what's in this today's episode of headache cb7 so stay tuned I'll show this in another video but if you look at this the whole caliper is moving um so should be pretty simple we're going to take um this uh, axle nut off which i believe is a uh where's my axle nut 36 i believe i'm gonna take that off i'm gonna take the calipers off i'm gonna take the uh tie rods off um Take the suspension. I'm gonna probably leave it. I want to leave it connected up here. I'm just gonna take the fork uh, off and just let, let that hang. Um, and take off the bolt. Um, of course, down here and down here, like all the bolts to take everything off um, and swing it. Um, uh, you know, actually, never mind. I'm. I'm I have. I gotta replace. Gotta replace this too. So I'm taking everything off. Everything's coming out. Just, just, yeah, everything. Today is everything out day. Let's go. All right, so old caliper is off. Um, pretty easy. Just these two bolts right here. 17 millimeter bolts. Let's unscrew them. Take out the brake line. That's gonna leak some 
some uh, brake fluid that's in the caliper. Um, not sure how these brake pads look. They're actually pretty new. I mean, these are, if I needed to, I can honestly use these brake pads again. Plenty of life on them. But they're going away. Let's see the back side. Wow, I must have replaced these brakes and don't even realize it. These brakes are nice. Wow, that's... Look at that. That's just shot. Alright, so I'm going to um take this bracket off, the, the caliper bracket here. Should just be, I don't remember, I think it's these two bolts right here. If you can see that, there's just two bolts back here. Um, this bracket will come off. Um, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna drop the fork and then take the axle out and uh, see if I can get, I bought a, a ball joint separator um, for here. Let's see if I can separate uh, this part. Um, take these two tins off and it exposes the the bolt that's under that's under here um so yeah these are the next steps freaking axle out um but i bought this uh ball joint separator i'm going to use it to separate it there and separate it down here i've never used it before but i hear it makes doing this a lot easier so the concept is put this in between there and then as you as you bolt through it opens up and separates the joint. So we'll see. So if you can see, this goes in between the ball joint and the top part sits on top. And as I screw the bolt, it should pull it apart. And I'm gonna use my, rat, uh, my gun to see if I can separate it loose. All right, so the ball joint separator works perfect. Got it off in a few seconds. So my mistake, I, I think I said it wrong in the wrong clip, but basically this black part goes on the bottom of the screw. This black part goes on the bottom of the screw and this goes between the ball joint and it just pulls it apart and it just pops, pops out. So that allowed me to get the axle out. Um, I should have taken the bottom part off first, but but it's okay. I gotta take this line off, which I believe is something to do with ABS, which is coming out of the car anyway. And I'll be able to take the whole knuckle off, and we'll be good. All right, so everything is off. Got it out. wasn't too bad. Ball joint separator made it a hundred times easier. So highly recommend getting that little tool right there. Um, so now I can just replace that. It should be easy. I'm going to take my knuckle off here. Just these four tins.
Yeah, gonna flip it over, get these four out. I'm sure these are gonna be pretty tough. I've never taken these out before. So we'll see. All right, so this, once you take the back bolts off, this is not pressed in. You can just get a hammer and knock the back side of it out. I've already done it. So if you get a hammer, try to do this with one hand. So you get a hammer, then you can knock the hub assembly and the rotor out from the knuckle. And this is the part you'll need to do your brake conversion.